Okay, it's Beer O'Clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer which was brought to me by my good friend and fellow beer reviewer, Mark Elvis Appleford of Somerset Real Ale Reviews. It is a ball of Silent Night by the Weymouth... It's a Weymouth wheat beer. And it is by the Dorset Brewing Company. Now, as you, wait, as you may know, the Dorset Brewing Company, quite a few of their beers are bottle conditioned. And there's loads of sediment in the bottom of this beer. It's 5.9% ABV, it's quite a big beer. Whoa, look at that smoke. Plenty of life in this in this beer. I'm using a nice wheat beer glass. Oh, wow! <laughs> that is a carbonated beer. Wow! Look at it churning round in the glass. Loads of carbonation. Right, I'm gonna go easy with this one. But Mr. Somerset Real L, Mark, has told me this is a fabulous beer and it's one of his favourites. And I too love ice cream. <laughs> I love ice cream too. Um, no, this beer, wow, look at the. Let me get up close. Look at that. It's rapid carbonation. Really is streaming massively off the bottom of this glass. Let's keep going. Let's keep getting some in. The more we get in, the quicker this head's going to dissipate. I'm going to stick my nose in this. Well, let's give you the colour. It is a deep golden kind of hazelnut colour. It is a nice kind of it looks like a big old German beer, doesn't it? it? You know, this is what a wheat beer would look like if you were in Germany. Um, it's a, it's a two-hand, it's a two-hand head. <laughs> it's off-white, it's creamy, loads of carbonation, as I see, streaming up the side of the glass. Let's get a nose in this beer. Oh, 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 what is this? I'm getting loads of super kind of berry, berry nose flavours in this beer. Oh, this smells wonderful. I've, I've, I've seen his review of this and he was raving about it. Um, I can see why. I, it's making me kind of salivate here while I'm, while I'm talking. So I'm going to dig into this one. Oh my. Oh my goodness me. Wow. It's... It's portish. Portish and... I love this flavour. I kind of... Pick it up in these kind of dark, not all the time, but I love it when I pick it up. It's it's a fruit cake with grandma's vodka all poured on the top, soaked into the fruit cake and then bunged in the oven for an hour or two. Wow! It's really fruity and, and kind of got a nice kind of alcohol background to the beer. Oh, oh, it's hedgerow, hedgerow hops, that kind of, even hedgerow fruit, berry, 
wheat. It's a very, very complex beer. I've had this sitting in my cupboard for a few months and, well, I'm not saying I've been kind of brushing past the beer. Should we throw the sediment in? You've seen the beer, it's nice and clear. I do like the, the sediment, so I'm going to throw this, a lot of it in now, I'm going to throw this sediment in the beer. There you go, you can see it kind of working its way down to the bottom. There you go. That is a fabulous looking beer, it's a fabulous tasting beer. It's 5.9%, it's deceptively drinkable. Another big thing that's just hit me is caramelly. It's kind of chocolatey as well. But there's a big part of this beer is probably is probably 85 to 90 percent of the beer, and that's the water quality. The water, the soft water in this beer is what is making it the mouthfeel taste and, and kind of sink and be so refreshing is the mouthfeel and that all comes from the water the soft water oh it's a wonderful beer let's talk about the carbonation then although the carbonation is streaming up the glass it's really, look at that, it's, it's very, very lively. It's drinking so well, it's very refreshing. This has got to be one of the most understated beers in the country. It really has to be. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's still there. Big, uh, big air bubble. Um, this has got to be one of the most understated beers in the country. It has to be. If you haven't tried this beer, go out and try it. 1997 Wheat Beer Champion of Great Britain. 2008 Great Taste of the West Gold Medal. It's been endorsed. It's been... Michael Jackson, the, the, the great late Michael Jackson has said... Um, Big, bold, dark and undercut with all the hallmarks of wheat. So, Mr. Jackson here has, has given this his thumbs up of approval. Um, and I am too. Not that I'm in the same kind of footsteps of Michael Jackson, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is a monumental, fantastic beer. And put up against some of the best British breweries in the UK, this beer, in a tasting competition, a blind taste test, you would go, wow, what's this? This is wonderful. Go out and try this beer. Taste it for yourself. Silent Night by the Dorset Brewing Company. <coughs> Time for a rating. Thank you, Mark, for bringing me this beer. Superb, superb berry flavours, lovely undercut of wheat, nice carbonation, just juicy, so refreshing, the water's fantastic, um, I cannot give this anything less than a 10 out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide, next time I see Mark Alvis Applefoot I will be getting him to bring some more of these beers up to me, they are absolutely wonderful. Thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guide. 10 out of 10 beer. Oh, I've got to give their website, I have to. Um, I really hope they've got a website to give out. Oh, come on. Okay, just go and Google Dorset Brewing Company, you'll find them. 
Thanks for watching me in the Real Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like. And cheers.